Yep. Uh, that was pretty close to the bottom. And this is something. This is something. I don't know what this is. Oh. This is something big. This is something big. Too big. Now we say I'm big. Or I just got sharked or something. This is something big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, undergunned here, folks. I got a tiny hook on this tiny jig, and this is something else. Jeez. Good fish has towed me out. Um, I can't. Oh, it's coming up in the water. I don't know what this is. Could be a jack or something. It's coming up high. This is a tiny hook, light line, 20 pound test. Could be a big jack. We'll see you Oh. Possibly a new rail, no sé. En eso, chiquisito nuevo. Man, you might want to. Yeah, you might want to peel off left a little bit. You might want to peel off left a little bit. Yeah, I can't control where it's going. Oh. I feel like at any moment I could lose this fish. This is a tiny hook and light line. I think it might be a jack. I don't know. If it is, it's a big one. Es algo como así, voy al lado o, o, o Jurel Grande. He's thinking the same thing me, that it's either like a Jack Revol or an Almaco Jack. Or I mean, a fight not super unlike a rooster, but I don't think so. Wow. Not giving up. Well, oh, gaining some ground now. I uh, think I'll call Lord Gallo Rooster Rooster, bro. <laughs> Look at that on the jiggy seat, though. Don't you do it. <laughs> Pretty good one on the tiny jig. They're out here. I just wanted to show you guys so you believed us. There it is. Oh yeah. Man, they run together. <laughs> Look at that. Rooster fish on the little micro jig. I was just trying to get Justin here a bait. That's the bait we're looking for, bro. Get that in the water. That's a blue runner. Get that in the boat. I mean, get that in the boat. You can put that in your boat. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. So Justin here, I just was telling him like, man, these look like blue runners. Let's try to catch one. They're great rooster bait. I dropped down the little jig trying to catch that, and I catch the dang rooster, but now he's got the candy. That's it, bro. That's it. Get that on your hook. You can you can stick his face down that little hole by the pedal drive in the water. He'll be fine. They're more hardy. Okay, okay. Look at that, guys. Rooster fish. 
Uh, El Salvador, you know, you know how to hook it up or you want to help? Yeah, just through that roof of the mouth. Look at that. Just got a nice little rooster on the uh, the Jiggycito, a little XPS jig. I marked uh, some bait, some blue runners, and then Justin caught a blue runner, which is the best bait out here. So I'm gonna go find those blue runners again and see if we can't load up on on some of them. Justin's got the candy out. Put your lines in there. Coming right up on you. You ready to hit it as well? Just trolling us. So, just keep his head in the water, okay? Okay, swing him into here if he can. Kind of bring it close and then just lift up. Oh no. Yeah, if you could hold on to my boat, that'd be yeah, the best good. thing. Okay, that's free. Rooster candy, of course, of course. Okay, just so let out plenty of slow uh, line and just don't go too fast. Just line it out. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get that settled, and you just don't you don't need to go too fast with him. He may or may not live very long. I don't know. The smaller ones of them can be just a little fickle, but I would just cruise him around here. Don't let out a ton of line because we're not too deep here, right? And you gotta wait on there. Uh, if you want, I'll sit here. But yeah, start start letting out lines. So you'll back off that drag. Keep your thumb on it. Oh, you got the clicker. That's good. Yeah, you can just let it out. I'll tell you when to stop. That's big rooster candy right there. Again, they don't always live that long, but oftentimes they don't. Oftentimes they get hit. Is that Sierra back? Yes. Yeah. If it was bigger, we'd keep it needed. But that size, that's just perfect. That's too candy of a bait to to not use. And he'll work dead later too. Rooster right there. Rooster. Hello, 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 hello. pointed right at it. Yeah, there you go. Lock it down for everyone. Dang it. Get that rod tip to the front of the boat, what you can. Pull the rod tip to the front of the boat and it'll swing you around. Reel, 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 reel. Reel, 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 reel. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, just keep it tight. Don't let the line slack. Careful off to the side. Bring that rod tip back to the front, brother. Bring the rod tip back to the front. Don't worry about anything else. Just, just drag it back to the front. Your boat will turn. I'm coming up behind you and I can help you land it if you want. There you go, Mike! Get that. Oh, he's in a bad spot. Put the rod tip to the front of the boat. It's gonna flip you, Mike, and you're gonna lose it. There you go. You're doing great. Don't worry. Just take your time, just reel, reel, reel. Don't let it slack, yep. You're doing great, brother. You're doing great. We can't horse this in, you know, it's a big fish. <laughs> You're doing great. When he gives you any kind of slack, try to lift up a little bit and then reel. And when it pulls hard, you just gotta hang on like that, yeah. You're good, man, you got this. Reel, there you go. Reel, 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 reel. Reel, 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 reel. If it slacks, so reel, 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 reel. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. We never want to let the rod go straight like that. Reel, reel, reel. That's how you'll lose it. I know it's a lot, but just give it, give it your all right now. Oh, there you go. Let's go. Try to keep the rod off the gunnel if you can. I know it's hard, I know it's hard. Yeah, reel, reel, reel. No, 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 just reel, 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 reel. Reel, 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 reel. Don't worry about that right now. Just leave it where it's at. You're doing perfect. It's a proper fish, brother. 
Yep, real, real. He's giving you some, real, real, real. You want to keep that rod bent, real, real, real. See, every time the rod goes straight, man, is when you could lose it. There you go, there you go. He's close now, so don't worry. Just, you got one foot forward? Yep, perfect. When this comes up, do you want me to help you land it? We'll put it on your lap, or you want to try? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep that one foot forward, you're doing perfect. Now reel some, and try to get it out from the other side of that paddle. If you, when you can, when you can. There you go, there you go. I'm pretty positive I know what this is. Keep your, keep your line. There it is, brother. Okay, okay, stop reeling, stop reeling, stop reeling, and try to keep the line tight. Go. Okay, I got him. I got him. Now hold on. I need you to back off the drag some. Not all the way. Don't panic now. We're good now. We're good now. Do you want the strike off? Pull it off a bit. Uh, just pull it off some so I can get some line back. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Perfect. And I'm going to try to get this hook out of him first because yeah, okay, I think it man. might be a little deep. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Get it! Incredible, man. Incredible. That's a little deep, so I gotta... Stand up if you come, Brian. Stand up if you come, Brian. Okay, hook's free. I'm gonna put them on your lap. Here's where I want you to grab them. Don't grab that red part. Just like up in there, just like that. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Let me... Los Buzas! There it is. <sighs> Uh, point okay, it towards him. He's going to get the good pictures. He'll send it to you. No, no. Point it towards him. Thanks for your help, lad. Yeah, buddy. Phew. Get a buck in the water. If you want to, toss him towards Charles. Yeah. Buck in the water. Sure. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, brother. Woo. <laughs> there it is. Mike. Well done, man. Well done, they pull hard, huh? Hey, that was some fight. Yeah. <laughs> right here. Right here. Okay, okay, okay. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'm going to revive him, Mike. I'll, I'll handle it and make sure he swims off strong, but it's fine. This happens a lot. Don't worry. Don't worry. Incredible work, brother. That's not an easy fight. You did great. Yeah, Mike. Rooster. Rooster. <laughs> All right, reviving this fish. Make sure it swims off strong. All right, we got Rob here from the UK. He's hooked up to something. He says pretty decent fish on the light setup. Been fighting it for a minute. Finally getting over here to him. Let's see what he's got. You're totally fine in terms of where you're at safety-wise, so don't worry. Just focus on the fish. Just keep the line tight. Uh, something heavy. He's, this thing's working him. I just told him that these rocks over here can be really good for roosters and bluefin trevally and all kinds of stuff. But you gotta be really careful because there's a swell that'll pump on those rocks when the big sets come through. And he kind of risked it for the biscuit, and he's got something decent on. We haven't seen it yet. Get up here, help him idea it, and help him if he needs help landing it. But I think he's already got his roost for this trip. I think he got one yesterday, so we'll see. It's nice and easy. Whatever you do, don't don't tighten your drag or anything like that. But just you got a light set up, so you just gotta take your time with it. Looks like a good fish. Man, he wants to get in there bad, huh? <laughs> Yeah, it's something good. Just don't let that line slack. You're okay where you're at. Y'all good out there? Yeah, Rob's got something something good on on the light set up, and we're kind of close over here to the rocks, so yeah, we're okay right now. Just don't let that slack. Charles, you got a copy. I do. Amen. Might be good to turn around. Um, Yeah, that's okay. There you go. And you can pedal. You can pedal towards it if you need to. Oh, he's getting close, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I would try to pedal a little bit away from there if you can. 
All right, he's got it pretty close to the boat, I think. Still haven't seen it, I don't think. I'm telling him he's got to pedal a little bit away from these rocks. It's getting a little bit in the danger zone, but he's, I think he's good now. <laughs> something, something good, man. Yeah. I'm watching the rod tip. I can't really tell. A lot of times I can tell. That's by the way the rod tip's acting, but I'm not sure. Is he a race, though? I, I don't know. I don't know. Could be. I would keep your rod up a little bit more. You want to have some bend in the rod, right? Like, because yeah. that'll snatch up some of that slack if it turns directions on you. It's pretty high in the water column, huh? Yeah, yeah. He's running out into open water, so that's good. Phew. Rob, with something good, something strong. I think we got this. Whenever he kind of eases up, you can try to like lift up and then reel down. But like I said, just reel before you drop that rod tip. But wow, still screaming offline. Yeah, this might be a rooster, man. <laughs> Rob's cramping. Yeah. I mean, if we go another couple minutes, it may be worth tightening it like a tick. Yeah. But but we, we'll wait. Let's wait. Because again, I can't I, I can't know how tight it is, and I don't want to pop it off. But at the same time, if it's too loose, depending on what this is, we might be able to drag ass around for two hours. I don't know. <laughs> nah, guys, he's still working on it. I'll let y'all know. He's uh, Rob's on an, an epic battle light tackle is something that he is he is undergunned. Wow. Still rip it offline. Damn. We are long into the fight you guys and this fish is still working Rob here. Just went on another screaming run. Something that's laughing at Rob's uh, light tackle set up here. He was throwing like a diver, like a like a crankbait, jerkbait looking thing up into the into the wash. And I told him, uh, especially this time of year, I've cut quite a few roosters out of that same set of rocks, and this might be one with the the endurance it's showing. To me, making smoking runs like that this late in the fight, this could be a rooster. It could be a it has to be a big blue finch volley. I don't know. Something good. Goodness gracious, still running. I'm so curious. I just want to know what it is. There it goes. Seems like he's gaining some ground now. Yeah, he's close now. I can tell by how quick it's changing directions. Still fighting it. It's getting close. I'll let you guys know. Come on, Rob. Come on, Rob, lad. <laughs> Just a quick update for the group. Rob is still finding this uh, apparently giant fish. It's towed him about three quarters of a mile, and uh, we have not seen it yet. Hopefully, Rob brought his passport since we're going to be in Colombian waters here before too long. <laughs> I'm not telling you to, but if it was me. I would take up the drag one or two. Like, depending on what fish this is, man, he literally might be able to do this for six hours and we can't stay out here for, I'm not, you know, I'm just, we can see, but. Like a little bit. Like, like, like literally a tick. And I'm then going, let's, let's let it lie. Right. Am I going to the right? Yeah, righty tighty. Yeah, righty tighty. Just, you'll hear it tick, you'll feel it. Just, we got Rob here running down this fish with a motor, AKA his legs. It's out in front of me yet. Don't let it slack, don't let it slack. You want to keep that little bend in that rod at all times. Yeah, holding the rod up higher, I think it's better when it's scoped out in front of you like that. You don't want the rod like pointing at the fish because then you got no bend in it. And the bend in that rod is what picks up the slack when need be. Yeah, we're gaining on it now. Huh? <laughs> oh my God, I just want to know what it is. I'm so curious. got drunk. You've been drunk so far, dude. <laughs> don't let it slack. Don't let it slack. That's the only way that you can lose this fish now is, is slacking it. All right, guys, a little status update. Rob is still fighting this thing. We are, we're a mile from where we started. 
We're out in 150 feet of water. The wind's picking up a little bit. It's getting a little choppy. Got a little old man in the sea situation here. Just it's a light tackle version, but this is not a small fish. But he's gaining some ground on it now. We've been slowly ticking up his drag, which is always really, I mean, it's 20 pound test. It's, it's, it's a scary proposition, a risky proposition, but at some point, if we don't have enough, enough drag on this thing, this fish, depending on what it is, could swim around with him putting, you know, five pounds of pressure on it for the next two days. So at some point you gotta kind of risk it and put a little more, a little more pressure on the fish, but it's working out so far. He, Rob's gaining some ground back on it. And this fish is having to work a lot harder now, so. I think it's coming up here soon. We'll see, but I don't know how long we've been chasing them, but easily 30 minutes and uh, about a mile we've covered. But he's gaining some ground now. I think it's gonna come up here soon. Decided to figure out what this is. And now we've been towed out so far. We got some, I guess, I guess there must be wind coming out of the west because it wasn't bad in there. Now it's a little sloppy out here. I think there's a current line right here too making it extra sloppy. A little added uh, challenge level for Rob here, but he's doing great. And we gotta be getting, starting to get close and then there it goes again. It's okay, but see now he's working hard for the, the every inch, you know, so he'll wear out. Yeah, he's gaining on it now, man. I think he's, he's wearing out. The problem is no one's with them. No hay nadie con ellos. He's got to be real close for him to change directions that fast. Hey, cuidado, cuidado. Keep it tight. Yeah, he's close, man. He's close. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Don't let it slack. See ya. What? What did you? What? It's so like I want to get close to get a look at it, but I don't want it to change direction and, and you know the line hit me. But dude, he's I mean he's he's worn out. If you were able to get him to surface and catch a glimpse. No way. Battle for the ages, brother, whatever it is. I'm going home with a story to tell now. Just watch the line on that front handle and stuff, you know. Ah, <laughs> see? <laughs> he's like, now he's just taking us back home. This is working out okay now. <laughs> Vamos pesca por la casa. Going on about 45 minutes, he is coming. Yep, keep it tight. Now he's coming up. Yeah, keep it tight. Don't worry about your rudder so much. Don't let that line slack now. Rooster? Oh yeah! Monster! If you want to try to grab it, you need to grab it his gill plate, but don't grab the red part of his gills. Careful, 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 careful. careful. One foot forward down here. Or if you want, I can grab it. Yes, I can. That's a tank, dude. That's a freaking tank. Okay, be ready, be ready, be ready. It's okay. <laughs> Monster guy! -o. I need to get him back on the surface like that. Oh. Oh, dude. Monster rooster on the light tackle. Look at this thing. Okay. He looks primed to run again, man, so I'm a little hesitant, so just hang tight. Let's see, we need him kind of floating like he was. Give him a second, give him a second. Dude, granddaddy rooster. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, that's a... Rooster, bro. <laughs> Look at that thing! Oh my god. Oh, is he in there? Okay. Um, I need you to open your bail some. 
Like, give me some slack. I gotta try to get this thing out of here, and they come to me, and let's get it on your lap, get some pictures, and be quick. Okay, it's free. Now you need to hold, not in his red part of his gill, but here. See how yeah, you follow that to his jaw right now. Yep, yep, just like that. Oh, yeah. And now grab him really tight. You got it, you feel that kind of like handle there? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Congratulations, bro. Hot up. Now, okay, yeah. Yeah, you're okay, you're okay. Yep, just follow that down. You really want to grab that one with your, uh, yeah, exactly. Just like that, you're doing good, yeah, don't worry. And just grab him hard. Grab him hard and then grab his tail, put him up on your lap like that. And best thing you can do is put your put your knees like kind of down. I'm gonna get out of the way. There you go, buddy. Congratulations, man. <laughs> Holy! Incredible, man! <laughs> Insane, dude! Yeah! Toss him down head first! Hard! Dale. Victor, dale, dale. Él tiene un gallo ahorita. Otra. Él tiene un gallo ahorita, dale. Nosotros estamos bien. Tus cartas de amor a la soledad que me hace recordarte. had a nice pig roast, amazing meal. Now we're playing games. We got cornhole going, some kind of beer pong. Everyone's having a great time. Such a fun week with these clients. Amazing fish caught, but more so just friends made. Good time with these Jersey boys, Brits, Canadians from all over the world. Everyone's mingling. Los Buzos bringing people together. I just lost the cornhole again. Oh, yeah. 